final stage um, for this section is to um, just carry on adding detail. I've rearranged the arrangement of the uh, items a little bit. If you look at the the hierarchy now, I've put the uh, I've put a null with all the parts in it, and so I can move that around just by moving the null should I need to. Now, one thing that I have um, haven't done yet is that the null is wasn't centered on the character so if you hit L or this button up here and then move the center to between the feet and the center of the character there we go so I've adjusted the color of the trim of the boots so I just added um, an extra line of trim which is just a case of selecting the loop and then the a bit more detail in the body to match the background. <clears throat> and what I'm looking for now is for areas that still need to be tweaked and move using either the smooth or um, smear is quite useful. So if we just I'll show you an example of that um, by selecting the body, and then we'll go to in fact. For now, we'll use magnet. Not use that much yet. So, as I see an opportunity to match the reference somewhat better, I'll just use the magnet to tweak that. And if I feel that there's more geometry needed or more of a tweak than I've already got, then what I've I do there and then I just use the knife and just add it in. So let's find an example of that. Let's put um, one in here and one more here. And even one more here wouldn't call this. And then down at the bottom, I can then add, pull this down. It'll give me a crease in the in the leather glove. And you can see that more if you then switch back on the hypernerve, and you can see. What an effect that has, and that's one way of getting wrinkles into the mesh now. So if we're going to get into some detail, we can start adding some nice details by adding extra loops and then wrinkles like so. Or if you need to raise up an area, perhaps like the knuckle, um, to raise up those individual areas just to give it. A, be careful now because I don't want to go too far with any of these changes. I'll turn that back off now while we hunt around for any more. So I've added lots more loops around the arm, um, lots more loops around the, well not, not so much many more loops around the neck and the chest, that all, all seems fine. But in the face what I did was I added um, a loop around the nose here and tweaked the jawline a little bit. Um, and extruded in around the helmet. Now if I just show you, I'll just smooth everything with hypernerve. You can see the difference that that made. The ear's still not good, so we can work on that one now. Just single points and moves. And what we need to do is tuck that back up underneath. There. And that will give us a nice fold under the ear. We'd lost that in the uh, in the editing that we've been doing. That's fine. The eyes are pretty okay. Just deselect as we. Lips just tightened up a little bit. The nose, same. 
kept checking the reference. We're a little bit off the reference, but pretty okay, I think. And that's it at this stage. So we can um, save that out now. Um, and we can probably UV map um, one little thing that I've just noticed. This is the problem you find things continuously. Um, is where we've just got a little bit of it popping through the where I've adjusted the back of the um, cost the back of the suit. I've let it affect the neck more than I should have done. There we go. I've actually turned. Um, we go. I've actually turned symmetry off just for a moment, just to have a look at this. Now we can add more detail later. Um, but I think what I'll do is I'll take this out now, I'll export it and delete the two back planes and just export the um, character as it is as an OBJ and we will uh, UV map that in Hedis UV.